NASA's launched its most powerful rocket in the aim of sending humans back to the moon for the first time in 50 years. Artemis, which has been plagued by weeks of delays, finally took off yesterday. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. 50 years after the last Apollo astronaut left footprints on the moon, NASA is on its way back. We rise together, back to the moon and beyond. The most powerful rocket ever built finally lifted off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida after weeks of delays. A mesmerizing start for a 1.3 million mile test flight of the Orion spacecraft. This time there's no crew, but if all goes well, humans will be on board in just two years time. I'm telling you, we've never seen such a, a tail of flame. Uh, there were a bunch there that would like to be on that rocket. We're going back to the moon, not just for the sake of going to the moon, but to learn, to live, to prepare to send humans all the way to Mars. Orion's journey to the moon will take around a week. It will orbit several times, coming as close as 60 miles to the surface and as far away as 40,000, further into deep space than any other craft built to take humans. Roughly two weeks later, Orion will head home, barreling into the atmosphere at almost 25,000 miles an hour and splashing down off the coast of California on December the 11th. NASA hopes this journey will one day be routine, ferrying astronauts to a lunar base camp. A few hours into the flight came the first images of Earth, slowly receding into the black curtain of space. So much to learn from the moon in terms of science. Um, it is a unique record of the solar system. So it tells us about how the Earth evolved, how it will evolve in the future. And by sending humans there to, to collect rocks, to do the geology, we will find exciting things. This is your moment. Artemis is a very different lunar program to Apollo the first female launch director, and on a future mission, the first woman and first person of colour to land on the moon. It's not just the technology that has changed over the last 50 years. Thomas Moore, Sky News.